Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, uh, Peace be upon you all uh, Alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salamu ala seyidina rasulillah Alayhi wa ala alihi wa man wa la wa ba'd I don't know I can't see the My present if I don't know if Ayaz um, Okay Alright Today I will be I will uh, I don't think I will have like much time, so I'll try to summarize uh, the uh, the main subject today. And uh, I think during the question and answer, we can, if we missed something, inshallah, we can catch it in the in the question and answer. Answer uh, the the challenges um, or the social challenges facing new Muslims are are many, as you uh, you can see. I will focus today on three, which are uh, hijab, family, and work. Uh, there are other here, if you, you can see um, uh, marriage and friendship. Uh, not in you are right, you did the right thing, and they are wrong, and so, no. Because imagine if you are like you are also a mother or a, a father, and you, you found yourself also adopted other religion. Uh, and this religion is controversial in the media. You know, everybody talk about Islam is a religion of extremism, terrorism, and they, you know, they may, they, uh, they feel scared, obviously, because of what's happening in them. And they will also, they, we have to admit that they will uh, be worried much. Might something happen to you? You join some specific group, extreme group, or you know, these things because of the media. This is what happened. You have to. Uh, remember this uh, always. You have to be patient, you have to be tolerant, uh, you have to show uh, uh, disrespect, even if, as I said, they are not, you know, uh, showing any type of support or disrespect, don't react in the, in the same uh, way. Even if they, as I said, disown you or reject you. This is uh, uh, what should, you, some, some also may ask if I know definitely my family will disown me and or reject me. What shall I do? So um, um, shall I stop, you know, converting or uh, or uh, uh, so? In that case, as I said, you know, even in Islam, parents we have to be always kind to them, show respect to them. But when it comes to something uh, to something which I agree or agree, disagree with the Islamic values or Islamic rules, then we'll, as Islamic rules take priority. If you, if you are a Muslim and your, your, your uh, mom encourage you to do bad things or your dad or something, then you don't listen to them. But still, it doesn't mean you disown them or you show this in all, in all, just disobey them in this area only. And, they, and in a nice way as well, in, in a very, uh, 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 good. Uh, how also among this, the other uh, is issues uh, with family, the food when you eat with them. Sometimes they have like uh, you know maybe pork or you know non, uh, non halal food or uh, drinking and so on. How do I, I deal with this? Uh, especially if I convert bribery and they don't know. Uh, you t I, I, you try yourself to um, either to tell them about a specific type of food or uh, to tell them nicely. You know the way to handle it, but don't. If, of course, obviously, you don't uh, uh, drink or eat uh, this kind of things. Also, among the other things about celebrations and occasions, do I have to join parents in? You know, birthdays and uh, and you know Christmas sometimes and uh, celebrating Christmas and they uh, exchange gifts and these uh, traditions that I used to have uh, before. These things also you can deal with. You know, you can join your pay. even you know for Muslims if they have a friend who is Christian, they can they can they join the funeral or so on. Uh, this is you know you can join that. You can join their and their um, and their occasion without it, you know, for example, drinking or they making something they which is haram. But to join them, to eat with them, to give gifts and to take gifts, 
there is no problem uh, about it. Especially this might make the relationship better. Because if you stop all these occasions, you know, uh, joining this occasion, this will make a gap. Might make a gap and make it like, they, okay, Islam is taking the people, you know, from their parents, cut the relationship, and, and this stereotype, this kind of thing. Okay, so you remember the consequences. Some people say, no, I have to be strict. Islam is uh, so and so. Yes, you, 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 you're right, but this is your family. This is your, your parents, your mom, your dad. You need to uh, 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 have the joining. And on those who joining these things is controversial. It's not like something, uh, uh, you know, haram, definitely. Or some scholars, you know, sometimes this is bid'ah, sometimes this is uh, not right, but as I said, uh, don't stop joining these occasions, uh, you know, because of uh, this. But it doesn't mean you join, you do the, you know, uh, share, you know, uh, haram, doing haram uh, things. Okay, last, okay, work. Uh, for men, it's, it's not, you know, for that's, this is challenge, for men, maybe it's not, you know, it's not uh, big because they don't wear hijab, they, they can't show, you know, they just wear no, but for women, it's very obvious and very, uh, you know, uh, big challenge. Because when she becomes, obviously, the uh, people around her, you know, they will know. Uh, uh. So at work, also you need to do the same thing with parents. You, the reaction, you need to do the same. See how it, uh, how, if you uh, can, you know, if you know the reaction, and that you will, maybe you will be fi get fired because of this, or the, your, the friends will look at you, you know, in a different way, and so you see the, the situation. If you feel like this, and this is important for you, then if you can find another job that will later, slowly, slowly, that's fine. If you can't, and this is a job you need to, you need to work, you need to have, you know, uh, to pay your rent or to pay your, uh, your bills and so on, and there is no other option, also take it gradually, the same. If you can wear like a hat, something that not so obvious that you are uh, a Muslim, uh, or, uh, or you can delay it later until the time uh, uh, will uh, be, uh, okay. I know this, this is challenge, there are, uh, you know, many uh, challenges. Sometimes they, one, or some of these are not a challenge for others. So you, and I'm sure, inshallah, in the next paper, you, there other uh, challenges will be discussed. Like, for example, circumcision and the, the issue of uh, changing the name, the issue of having uh, uh, wali, and uh, so on. I hope this will uh, help and. Uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, uh, to guide us all. And if you have any question uh, or comment, you are welcome. No question? Yeah. Um, what about uh, Jannah? When you convert to Islam, what happens to Islam? Did you get to meet them in Jannah? Or? Um, um, okay. um, I was wondering, what about Jannah? If uh, you refer to Islam, uh, what happens to your family? Do you get to see them in Jannah, or if they if they remain Catholic or Christian? Oh, I see. This is another challenge as well. Main common question by new Muslims: What will happen in the era for my parents? Well, they go to hellfire, will be, you know. Uh, don't, don't worry much about this, you know. Uh, and don't worry much about their destiny on the day of judgment. Leave it to God when we, uh, but you focus on your relationship with them and you wish that, you know, you make dua or pray for them that may Allah guide them and, and so on. Um, even ourselves as Muslims, don't you think that because you become Muslim, you will be in Jannah direct. Don't, uh, this is wrong conception. Many, many people think that. You, you know, uh, being a Muslim is not 
a guarantee that you will go to Jannah. It's all by your good deeds, your good, you know, practicing and good, uh, good action and good uh, deeds and avoiding evil, uh, doing haram stuff. This is a measure. Not just because you are Muslim, you will be straight away uh, in Jannah. So uh, don't worry about the destiny of your parents. And uh, uh, because some people sometimes, especially friends, they give. That's why you have to be careful about, don't believe all what your friend mentioned you know, in terms of, because some friends, they think that because you are not Muslim and they are Muslim, they know better than you. Or they know everything, which is, is not true. They don't uh, know much. Sometimes they give you wrong information. Without, so you have to go to reliable uh, sources or uh, scholar or someone specialist. Like, for example, the same like in any other, if you have any issue in any other field, you go to specialist. If you're in medicine, you go to a doctor. If it is like, you know, financial thing, you go to a special uh, person. So, um, the, again, don't, don't worry about what will happen to you, your, your parents. You just, as I said, keep having good relationship with them, be kind to them, show respect to them, wish that Allah will guide them, or they will, but the destiny is, is, is with Allah. Even ourselves, we can't, we don't know our destiny, you know? Will we, will we be in Jannah? But the, the, it's based on what Allah mentioned in the Quran. Believe, doing good acts, or doing good deeds, and you know, enjoying good, avoid evil, these are the criteria for entering Jannah. If you don't do this, then you don't, whether you are Muslim or not Muslim. So I'll give you an example to make it. If someone is, his name is Muhammad, okay, he doesn't practice, he doesn't pray, he doesn't fast, and, and the other one is called Stephen, but Stephen is, is doing, you know, uh, doing very good, very, uh, 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 do his worship and so on. So it's not about the name here, it's about the action. It's about, you know, Muhammad, it's he will be judged according to his deeds. Stephen will be judged according to his deeds, okay? So, but the belief is, is, is very, uh, believe and to do good that these are the most important uh, things. Yeah? So I think um, for Muslims, the challenge is that they don't know what applications are. Or in November, December, and it's Christmas. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, sorry, just We'll give you the Thank you. Yeah, no, I was telling you. So, um, yeah, I was just um, uh, commenting um, what you mentioned earlier about the occasions, yeah. and I guess the current you know, people, Muslim, new Muslims, the challenge will be Christmas because it's coming up next month, and um, you mentioned, you know, obviously to keep good relations and to share the, these occasions, but what if these new Muslims um, are estranged from their parents because they have accepted Islam? And, um, obviously, Christmas is quite a big occasion. Um, where do they go, or how do they connect with other Muslims? Because I know, as a Muslim myself, um, we get together as a family, and I would like host um, a Christmas lunch, like a halal chicken or something with vegetables. Uh, but what? How do we new Muslims um, who are there is a halal turkey as well. Halal, <laughs> <laughs> the turkey is dry. <laughs> if you want to copy, yeah, there's always, you know, there's always, you know, in Islam, there's always a way out. Chicken is in a halal, you know, in a halal way. There is nothing in Islam, you know, if you can't fast, you can, you can give kafar. If you can't, you know, there is always a way out. This is the beauty of Islam, that you, you can uh, find a way. Uh, yeah. So. But, I mean, if they are estranged from their parents or their family, feel a bit isolated because of, you know, Christmas, everyone is kind of spending time with the family. 
Yeah, they can. Sometimes I, I know some groups, they meet together, new Muslims, uh, they have a gathering during these days. Uh, if she can join this, uh, uh, this, that's another challenge about, uh, this is maybe come later, I was mentioning about socializing and having new friends. Uh, try to build like a relationship with with many uh, friends as well. This will uh, help. So the friends will come together during this occasion. They have they celebrate together in, in their own way. They enjoy together the time. Uh, so this will compensate uh, the the missing. Uh, this is if there is no really connection at all between uh, parents. Yeah. Okay. You will come. Okay, so uh, now the time for prayer. Inshallah, we continue after the prayer. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.